fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, normally I don't make videos on Sunday, and I wasn't really going to make a video for this yesterday, but so many of you asked for it that we're going to do it now. We're going to jump in and talk about this new star chart event, which I will go ahead and tell you that I think was really well done, but I know not everybody likes going through the process of trying to figure things out. So in this video, I will be giving you the answers to the first three, as well as the format for how to do the star charts when the next one starts next week. And speaking of next week, before we get into this video, what I do want to show you real quick, I'm assuming that y'all are okay with this. This is in my discord, but here's the calendar for this month as it sits right now. I do really want to emphasize though that subject to change. One thing that we noticed with Star Trek Fleet Command a lot lately is that uh, the events are listed, but maybe they don't launch on the day that we read them. So subject to change. But this was put together by Viper. Viper, as always, thank you for those who put together stuff like this. It's really helpful to the community. I appreciate it. And if you want to check it out, it is pinned in the STFC general channel in my discord if you haven't joined already link is in the description of this video you can get the calendar and see what is happening throughout the month and plan accordingly so the event that we're going on through right now is this unknown adversary delta adversary star chart find out where things are in the galaxy etc now this can seem a little bit confusing in fact i actually want to give scopely credit because the level of detail that goes into this pun intended for what you're about to see in a second it's actually really brilliant. The basic idea is to go into one of these star charts and you want to find where this system is in the galaxy. And as it says, let's read through the first one. We received a highly classified docket of intelligence from the crew of the Voyager. They were able to partially decrypt the data off a demolished org cube discovered in the Delta Quadrant. These appear to have star charts of the Alpha Quadrant. Use them to pinpoint the systems of interest and use scanners in the system to see if you can find any information for the perpetrator. The scanning hailing frequency, real quick, I want to show you which hailing frequency that is so there's no confusion. I actually, when I did it, I used the wrong hailing frequency. So the one that you actually want to use, come out into open space, click your hailing frequency button, which is right behind me, the little hand right there, a little live long and prosper. It's this one, it's the board cube scanning. So that's the hailing frequency you're going to want to use when you go into the appropriate system. So let's go back into the star chart here and kind of like break down what all this actually is and what all it means and what all it's doing. So back in here we go. You want to take this picture and find out where this actually is. Now, there are three systems for level 25 and above and three for level 24 and below. I'll give you the complete list of those systems at the end of the video. Let's go through the process because you're going to need this for the next time this event rolls around. You want to find this in space. So there are a couple of clues here. One clue is to actually look at the star chart and figure out where you're going to see this in space and the two clues in terms of just straight out visual is this part right here see how close together these are and then these two hubs so if i come out into space i'll show you where this one is this is a federation system called laney if you come out I, you'll see exactly how oh wow that is actually what it was on the star chart so come over here scroll in right there see how the two are right next to each other this is the system. It was the one that was highlighted and circled. And then there is your two hub systems with the extra long finger. So you would have needed to search throughout the galaxy to find specifically what system this was. And if we go there, we will then complete it. Now, there's another really, really, really cool part of this that I got to give Scopely a little bit of credit on because the level of detail here is phenomenal. And I'm curious if the chat agrees. So let's go back into our Delta adversary. And keep in mind, you've got two weeks left here, so we're going to have multiple iterations of this. you got plenty of time to figure it out and time to complete this. But you see, there's exactly what it was. And let's take a little deeper look. And what I mean deeper is this was pointed out to me in a live stream, and I didn't know this. You see these little dots? It's like little dots going around the star chart here. Now, because the PC is limited in resolution, you can't really tell what those are. But... Some of our commanders were very kind enough in our Discord to provide larger, higher resolution screenshots from their iPhones and their Samsungs. And if you actually take a look here, there's more clues involved. Watch this, high resolution version of this. You see how there's degree charts at the top. You actually see the degree. So this is the one we just did. You see zero degrees. So we know that it is actually true, like, I mean, called true north, but you know what I mean. In terms of a two-dimensional reading, you can see 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, etc. And that 
purposely lays out where this is. Why is that important? Because when you get to the next one right here, this second one, well, it's actually different because it's rotated 90 degrees. And that's actually a little confusing. The second system is Ferenginar. But if you were to be looking at the star chart the same way you looked at the first one, you would have not really been able to figure it out without a lot of like hardcore eyeballing or asking your friend what it is. At the same time, I love this level of detail, but it would have taken you like really, 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 really diving deep to figure that out. And if you rotate this image in the appropriate manner, like you take a screenshot on your phone, this is what people were doing, take a screenshot on the phone, and then you rotate it and compare, you'll find out where it is and it'll look appropriate. And that is Ferenginar. And if you come over to the last one, you have the same thing where it's about what? Shifted just a little bit over here. So it's basically an 11 o'clock or you know, right at 11 o'clock instead of right at 12. So you need to just adjust it just slightly. And this is Nasturta, which is a Romulan system. So. In terms of this is how it looks if you're just like on your phone or on your PC, but if you take the actual zoom in and check the higher resolution, there's a third clue besides just what's presented on the star chart. And again, some people are gonna absolutely hate this and I get it because they're like, oh, it's just too much work. It's too much complication. Well, the good news is you've got Rev Deuce to tell you what to do, rocking my booty hunter hat and everything. We're just, we're here to give you the answer. So yay there, woohoo. And that's the part we're going to get to now. So now you've learned how to actually go through and find these answers. Here are the answers themselves, right there, bam. So if you are level 25 or above, the answers are Laney, Ferenginar, and Nasturta. If you are levels 24 and below, it is Dyer, uh, Sugakor, and Yoki Niche. Now, I can show you where the 25 and above ones are because I know you can also just go into your Galaxy menu and type them in. Just go to your system lookup and type in Laney and you'll find exactly where it's at. But if you want to just have a quick eyeball, you don't want to have to go through all the extra clicks, come in here again, launch your scanning, uh, scanning Hagler frequency, you'll complete it. Here's Laney right there. Ferenginar is to the south of Federation space right here. There's Ferenginar. And then Nasturta is over here to the east. We're going to come to the northern part I thought it was here. Oh, see, dang it, I don't forgot where Nasturta is. Oh, my, I'm going to have to enter it in. How newbie. All right, it's not that far out. Where's Nasturta? I've done forgot. All right, Rev's going to have to be an idiot and enter it in. I forgot where Nasturta is. But I promise you that's the system. I promise you. Uh, Nasturta. All right, here we go. Go, and I'm not even going to edit this out. Sometimes it's okay for me to look like an idiot. Here it is. It's at the bottom. Oh, I thought it was a higher level system for some reason. But there you go. There's Nasturta. And there's your third one if you're level 25 or above. But now you have the format and the knowledge to take this on the next time it comes around, which is next week. If you enjoyed the video, if it helped you out, make sure you smash the like button. Real simple. Just hit the like button. It doesn't hurt you. It helps out the channel. So smash the like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Share this out with your alliance mates and everybody else in Star Trek Fleet Command so they can know. And last but not least, if there's anything else I can help you with, drop it down in the comment section below. And final reminder, we do have that calendar in my discord so if you want to get this well join the discord I'll, you know what? i'll post it on facebook too live long and prosper stay safe for those space cowboys deuces that's me catch you on the next one appreciate those who helped put this together because i had no idea about the high like resolution that was a really cool feature and kudos to scopely on that i like that level of detail literally ah i'm done enough words an even better outro than the intro for the empire and glory to your house.